All right, Yelani, so this is the one I was mentioning um, in the other video. This one is a little trickier because there's a before and after scenario. So the question goes, determine the new differential reading along the inclined leg of the mercury manometer. So differential reading right on that horizontal pipe. Um, if the pressure in pipe A is decreased 10 kilopascals and the pressure in pipe B remains unchanged. So the fluid in A has a specific gravity of 0 0.9 and the fluid in B is water. So let's get started on this one. First step, um, knowns, right? Now we're dealing with three fluids here, but should be good. Don't worry about it. Uh, we got water. We always know good, good old water. That is 98.10 Newton per meter cubed. We're dealing with uh, SI units. These are in millimeter, but don't worry. Um, I'm not gonna change them here because it's gonna create a mess. I need the space, you'll see, but just keep that in mind, okay? The specific gravity of the fluid here is 0 0.9. And that is just like that. So that means the gamma of the fluid, multiply these two. You get 8829 Newton per meter cubed. And mercury, you sh I don't think you're expected to know this off the top of your head, but um, if this does come up in the exam, your professor's gonna tell you. But just so you know, gamma of mercury wasn't given, but that is 133,000. Let's make it a nice even thousand. It's not exactly 133,000, but for whatever, let's just keep it that way. Okay. So we got the three specific weights, so we should be good. Let's start the equation, step two. So let's do the before part of the equation. I told you, you know, before and after. I say it's before and after because when you decrease the pressure, fluid moves. Um, so think about it um, in the sense that when you decrease the pressure here, everything shifts toward the left, shift towards the left. Um, so it kind of gets absorbed, if that makes sense. If you were to increase it, it kind of pushes it that way. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back. So if you decrease it, it's kind of absorbing it. So this di um, division right here, whatever you want to call it, that line, it's actually going to move up some distance A. But we'll, you'll see what I mean right now. So first, let's just do it regularly, right? We're starting at point A, pressure at A, plus... It's plus because we're going down to this point. From here to here, that is gamma of fluid times 0 0.1. Again, remember to convert. Okay, now we're here, trying to get to this point. So we gotta find this distance here. Let's put H. So we know this angle here is 30 degrees, right? Because of this, so that means sine 30 we're looking for this height which is this one right here so sine 30 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so sine 30 is equal to opposite which is h over hypotenuse which is 0 0.05 so cool and that's the height um we're dealing with mercury here we're going down again right from here to here so positive gamma of mercury times 0 0.05 sine 30 degrees. So it's that one. Then from here to here, that's straight forward, right? Gamma of water. We're going up, that's negative. Gamma of water times 0 0.08. That's going to equal PB. All right, cool. So that's the first equation. Um, this is the before. Cool. Now let's do equation two. So again, let me explain this one more time. When you decrease pressure at point A, PA decreases. 
fluid kind of moves to the left. So this division is going to be here. This is going to go down. Now keep in mind this distance that it goes down here and this one that it moves here diagonally, it's the same distance. Okay, so that's the trick. Fluid moves to the left. Just think of it absorb or push or pull, right? It's pulling in this case. So, okay, and then uh, another thing I want to point out, there's solutions online, so you might not even have to watch this video, but if you want to understand what's going on, um, the PDF doesn't explain that, so it's a little, you know, spend more time on that, but good luck. I guess when you finally take this course, you'll thank me then. But PA, um, in the solution, they call it PA prime. This is the after scenario. This is the before, this is after. So they call it PA prime. I'll just stick to that too. Um, now look, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So the fluid, this division, is going to come up here. Okay. Now this distance right here is A. And when it does happen, um, this division is going to go down maybe here, I want to say. Just guessing. And that's also going to be A. So these two are A. Okay, now we know this is sine 30 right here, right? So we want this height right here. Because at the end of the day, since this fluid, uh, yeah, just fluid, whatever, that's what they called it, it went from here to here. We got to get this distance minus this height. So um, just trigonometry again. Okay, so hold on. We're going down. It's fluid. Now we're going to multiply that times the new height, which is 0 0.1, right? The whole distance minus this height right here. So again, if this is... I don't even want to call this H because this is H. But let's pretend this is H again. It's going to be sine 30 is equal to opposite H over A. So that means H is equal to A sine 30. Again, this distance minus this distance. Cool. Okay. So that's that one. Next one. We're now at this point, and we're trying to get to this point. So that's going to be, again, we're going down, gamma of Hg, Mercury. And that, this one's a little bit more complicated. So since it's now here, it's, pretend all this is Mercury from here all the way to here now, not this. So from here all the way here. It's this distance, because now we want this distance times probably like right here, right? This distance probably like right here. That one's right there. So it's that first little distance is a sine 30, how we determined here. The next one is this distance, this height right here. That is 0 0.05 sine 30. Then this distance here is a. So just add all these three plus a sine 30 plus 0 0.05 sine 30 plus a. That's the new height for Mercury. Now we're going from here to B. So that's, let me start a new row right here. We're going up, that's water. That one's easy, that one's just 0 0.08 plus A, right? A, 0 0.08, boom, that's the new height. That's equal to PB. Okay, so this is equation two. So this is the after scenario. This is before, final minus initial, to get the new reading of height. So final minus initial. We're gonna do equation two minus equation one. Okay, so PA prime minus PA, cool. That is, we don't, minus, 
S P A. Okay, now this is getting, it shouldn't be confusing, but you might get lost, but just keep staring at it until you get it. Um, now this is gonna be, this is gamma F times 0 0.1, that's gamma F times 0 0.1, they cancel out perfect. So forget about that. Now it's gamma F times negative A sine 30. So now you're gonna have minus gamma F A sine 30. That one's done, okay. This one too, gamma of hg a sine 30. There's nothing here, so we could just bring that down perfectly. Gamma hg, uh, let's do a sine 30. Okay. Um, gamma hg times this one, 0 0.05 sine 30. That's the same one here, so they cancel out. Now the last one plus gamma hg times a. Cool, so now we're here. Gamma of water times 0 0.08, negative gamma water 0 0.08, negative gamma water 0 0.08. They cancel out when you subtract them. Now, finally the last one, negative gamma water times a, right? Can't forget about the A right here. Equals um, zero. PB minus PB. This remained unchanged, so that's zero right there. Cool, makes it easier. Um, moved it up just in case you couldn't see. All right, so now we just start plugging in. Uh, PA prime minus PA. We don't know the pressure itself, but we know the difference is negative 10 because decreased 10 kilopascals. So let's go ahead and plug that. I like to use parentheses just to never get mixed up. Negative 10,000 kilopascals. So that's negative 10,000 pascals, Newton per meter squared. Everything should be in Newtons and meters at this point. So make sure you got that right. Minus gamma fluid, that is eight, eight, Two nine times. Oh, I'm sorry, not close. Oh yeah, times zero point five a sine thirty is just half. Okay, plus now we're doing gamma h g. That is zero point five gamma. Okay, you know what? I went ahead of myself, I don't want to confuse you. Gamma HG is 133 times 0 0.5A, same thing, that's half. Okay, we got that one. And which one else do we need? Oh, I'm sorry, did I mess up somewhere? A sine 30, no, should be good. Plus, oh, you know what? Yeah, I should have combined these two, but it doesn't matter. We're still good. Times 133,000. Right now we're on this term. That one right here. Times A. Minus, god damn, it's just it's long. 9810 times A. Equals zero. Cool. So move it right there. All right. To the math, um, you're gonna get one eight five two seven five times a is equal to move the ten thousand over. That's how. There's a ten thousand here. Cool. That means your a value is going to be 0 0.054 meters. All right, that's not the answer. Got to cloud this. So we did all this just to see exactly how much of the fluid moves up when you decrease the 10 here. So that answer right here is 0 0.054. Now, but the question's asking the new differential reading along the inclined leg. So our axis is a perfect 
cross right now, right? Whatever. We're gonna tilt it this way to, you'll see what I mean right now. So we got the A value. And now look, so I'm gonna move this aside for a second, just pause the video if you wanna see it, whatever, but we got this right here, right? This is a zoomed in version of the, of the drawing. So this, I guess what I'm trying to show you is we wanna see exactly how the new formula comes up. Um, so look, check it out. When you decrease the pressure here, this moved up, kind of like I said, this moved down. So we're gonna put this distance is A, right? Same thing we've been doing. And this distance here is A. Okay, so we want this distance And this point right here, right, whatever went down, it's the same point here. Uh, you really can't see it, but it's okay. I'm drawing the line right here. And I'm pull it out. So we want this plus this plus this, okay? So second step, right? Oh, this was the second step, pretty much identifying where the distances you want. So if this angle here is, okay, you know what? This angle here is 30. Okay, keep that in mind. That means this angle here is 30. This angle here is 30 degrees. I don't know what you don't need. I'm kind of just going through it myself too. So if we want this distance here, um, this little hypotenuse right here, we know that is the same as, how would I explain this? Hmm. Sine 30, okay, there's an x value right here, right? Obviously, this is your x. This is your distance a. That is the value it went up. So to get this x number right here, you do sine of 30, right? Because if you kind of, um, well, yeah, I'm already zoomed in. Can't really explain it more. But ultimately, you'll have sine 30 degrees is equal to opposite, which is this distance a over the distance you want x so let's go ahead and uh do that one right there this is x now solve for x you get x equals a sine 30. so that distance here is a sine 30. so cool now your total differential reading along the, the leg long leg along the leg okay that is just a this distance plus 0 0.05 meters plus x x is a over sine 30 plug in 0. Point, uh what did we get on the other one 0. 0.54 so 0 0.54, plug that in, you get 0 0.054 plus 0 0.05. Now this is half. So A divided by half is the same as multiplying by two. That is 0 0.108. And if you add them all together, you get 0 0.212 meters. So that's exactly what we do after this step. So step five is just determine the new height along the leg, um, 0 0.212 meters. Now, that's the answer. So I guess what I'm trying to say, or what I want you to get out of these problems, um, when there is a difference in pressure, between two ends or whatever, you want to make sure that you kind of understand what's going on visually. If you could do that, you should be fine on the exam. Um, this one's pretty crazy, so this could be a midterm problem or a final exam problem. 
Um, I don't think I had this one, but my professor was super cool. Um, yeah, and you're not going to get the same professor. He uh, actually just got hired at a new job last month. So he's no longer a professor, but we'll see what happens. But that's pretty much it on this problem. Um, determine the new height along the inclined leg. You got to use your axis is now like this. Uh, y, X. But that's pretty much it. Good luck.